In our hand warmer forum in December, we got a question that is good enough that I thought it warranted covering it perhaps in a video. And that was, as you can see here, he has a S Boston and he knows that that one takes 15 mils on the first fill. Then he's gotten himself a larger one. The, this is the Johnny GI or Giant, some people call it, but no instructions on how much to fill it up with. So I thought we would cover that here and come up with a seat of the pants guideline for where to start with for the amount of fill to stick in uh, this Johnny GI but we could probably apply the same formula to almost any other hand warmer such as these small guys uh, which as you can see here would probably take less than the S Boston so let's have a look at this and see if we can work that out my first idea to figure out how much volume to anticipate in these was maybe use uh, some sort of a displacement technique and take a measuring cup and fill it with water and then place each hand warmer base in and see how much water it displaced. Uh, of course, obviously I'm not the brightest bulb in the bunch and uh, but even I realized eventually that uh, doing that in water I end up with water in my reservoir which probably isn't really good for the performance of your hand warmer. So all I'm going to do basically is get the volume of first of all the S Boston by and we'll go over and measure the John E. And some uh, rough measurements and and then I just do the simple calculation which would lead me to believe that we would be putting 51 mils of uh, naphtha into the giant John E. So you say that's all fine and dandy for calculating out the John E but I've got one that's a different size. Well if yours looks like this little guy here that should be fairly simple. Uh, you can just do the same process and uh, I mean if it was me I'd probably just uh, eyeball it and go oh well that looks to me like it's about two-thirds of uh, or half the size of a uh, of a S Boston and I'll, I'll start by putting seven mils in and then see how that works uh, or you could do the math and that leads us to this guy. Whoa, now what do we do? That's not going to work by that. So what you're going to do with this is uh, two things. Again, um, what I would probably do with this would be uh, use displacement. I decided that we would try the displacement method anyway because it will give me an opportunity to disobey she who must be obeyed and use one of her measuring cups from the kitchen for one of my hand warmer experiments. Ever since the tweezer incident she's ordered me not to interfere with anything in the bathroom or the kitchen in terms of taking it into my workbench for science purposes. But she's at work right now. So I have the round S Boston and I put these two hand warmers, or sorry, the round butterfly, the square S Boston, and I put them in Ziploc sandwich bags and squeeze as much air out as possible. We've got about the same, about maybe slightly more, we'll call it like 110 mils. So that would indicate to me that maybe you could use what a little less than 10 percent more in terms of filling your round butterfly so I would start with 16 or 17 into that guy and see how that went. 